Okay, we are on the Giza Plateau, approaching the Osiris Shaft, which we have rented for two hours. So there is the Menkare Pyramid, there's the second pyramid, and there is the Great Pyramid. So this is the causeway from the second pyramid. Sphinx is there in the background. Okay, so we're approaching the entrance to the Osiris shaft. And this is another shaft that's next to it. Excuse me, Mo. Be careful. Very careful. So this is looking down into level one. Again, it's a drop of about 30 feet. Next one's about 100 feet and then 60 feet down into the water. Okay, we're in the first level. Thankfully, they've rebuilt the ladders because before they were very rickety. And the rest coming down. Sorry about the jiggling, I'm mildly <laughs> excited. So here's the way down to the second level. One thing to be on a hot air balloon in the basket. Okay, keep going, please. It contains you. This one you're carrying to quite be <laughs> So, in this niche, we have a hole that would fit a human sized sarcophagus. Then we have these two big boxes. Again, the material is called dacite. It is not from Egypt. It might be from Turkey. I have to ask Susan. But this is the one that has the black goo inside and outside and on the ceiling. And according to Susan, it's called, it's a bitumen material, which is an oil-based material. And is um, a lubricant for a pump or something like that, so it's not ancient. But you notice the lid is a jar on this. That's what we're going to see when we go to the Serapium. All the lids in the Serapium were found a jar except one. <laughs> And this is the other box. Does someone have a light they could shine here, please? Uh, into the box. Oh, that's great, right there. That's great. So you can see this box suffered some kind of damage. It, to me, it looks like it exploded from the outs inside out. 
And this box as well is made of what's called dacite, which is not basalt, it is not a type of granite. Oh, did your wife not want to come? Uh, she did not. She's what? Uh, she has fear of, of heights. Oh, heights. Yes, just me. She said, go have fun. Good. So I, I recently saw a video about the goo, mm -hmm. and that the same black goo is on that pump. Yeah. And they speculate that it was maybe oil-based or petroleum-based. And they had put the maybe the pump on top of that sarcophagus and had been pouring the oil or whatever petroleum in it for it to run, and that's why it ran into the sarcophagus. Yeah, and it's on the ceiling too. Excuse me, excuse me. So here you see the tool marks are at a 45 degree angle. Very similar to what we see at Petra in Jordan and at Baalbek in Lebanon. Now we're looking into level number three. Is anyone down there? Okay. How much space? Space for how many people? And now we have more tool marks. <laughs> Again, most are at about a 45 degree angle. So this is my third trip into the Osiris shaft. The first time we came, we were allowed to film everything. Second time, we were forbidden. This time, we're filming everything we want. We don't even have one of the guards down here with us. So thanks to Motaha of Select Egypt Travel for allowing us to come in here and experience this. It's not hot in here, here but it's very humid. So can only one person put at the bottom at one time? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the water level goes up and down. Our geologist Susan Moore. Do you want to speak? Something 
in the very back there. And that, I think, is what I sort of, yeah, what I mentioned in my lecture, the chelated iron cement that's come through here. And as we're walking back up the uh, causeway, you can see that running down the causeway. And what they were doing underneath the pyramid, or how to access it, or if that was important at all, is, remains to be seen. But I think it's something that just fascinates me that it's there. Anyway, uh, the box in here, it's more of a, a crude box compared to the Serapium. And we'll see the Serapium boxes tomorrow. And they are bigger and just done perfectly. Now, as to the material, I've heard people call it a day site. It might be, but I don't, I haven't found any literature in them telling me why it's a day site. But you do find day site, which is a volcanic rock in the eastern desert. Uh. So it's possible. But you know, we're finding an awful lot of gray boxes that have been painted black. Now, the goo that you're sniffing right now. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? We actually <laughs> were able to analyze a bit of it, but it was a small piece, so we didn't get a full analysis. But the analysis of it is it is a hydrocarbon. And because we didn't have enough of it, I asked the fellow who deals with hydrocarbons all the time, I said, what kind of hydrocarbon do you think it is? And he said, a refined. So he uh, thinks it is... Uh, modern. Modern. And when they pump out the water in the bottom, they have machinery in here. So it makes sense that that's what it could be. The same goo is on that pump right there, too. So they probably okay. placed that pump up there yep. and poured the oil or whatever. Exactly. And that's what spilled inside the... Exactly. Pump. And of course, right. you know, I mean, you can't get a hold of any analysis of it or anything like that, but the fellow told me he was pretty sure that it was a refined hydro hydrocarbon. Okay, and when you go down to the third level, there is a box in the middle. For those of you who want to be brave, you can take your shoes off and you can very carefully climb down and get on the box if you want to. It's just an option. <laughs> But the water level is pretty high right now. What's your theory? What's your theory? Well, I think this is uncontrolled And I think it connects to the pyramid and maybe I think they stored chemicals. In the boxes? Yeah. That was maybe used in the pyramid or there were a product of the pyramids. Huh? Yep. And we saw the iron coming through and we had a little... We are a guys who have a little theory. Oh, okay, great. Karina, can you shine your light in the box, please? On the other side of me? Sorry. Okay. Okay, so here we see the interior of the box with the black goo. It looks like it's intact. The mystery is why is the lid ajar? Did they actually have a, a body in here at one time and took it out? Or some speculate that these were used to store some kind of toxic chemicals, possibly. Yeah. So here is the black goo, which again is a hydrocarbon product that our geologist Susan Moore believes is from the 20th century when they were pumping out the third level. They had a pump of some kind and that this was a lubricant and the pump may have exploded. So they took it out, but they didn't bother coming and cleaning up the black goo. I was hoping it was going to be ancient, but unfortunately, that's not the case. So the conventional belief is this is a dynastic construction. 
that's completely nonsensical because it's cut into the bedrock three levels down under the Giza Plateau and also in general there's a causeway that would go from or that does go from the uh, the pyramids down, but in the case of this one, this one's at an angle. It's not a 90 degree angle, it's a different angle because it's believed that the Sphinx was constructed first and then uh, the pyramids were built afterwards. Okay, we're at the third level in the Osiris shaft under the Giza Plateau. This gentleman is literally swimming around in here. Uh, again, there is evidence that there is a tunnel at the back side, on the right hand side, that connects with the tunnel system that we know exists under the Sphinx. The Sphinx is hollow. And there are t many, many, many tunnels under the Giza Plateau, most of which are not accessible, especially to the general public. But we do know that they do exist. We do know the Sphinx is hollow, that there are different entrances um, into the Sphinx that take you underground. And so it's a great pleasure. Thanks to Mo Taha of Select Egypt Travel and Mohammed, who is a man who works here for the government and has allowed us to do some filming and recording of information. And it's a great honor to be here in the Osiris Shaft, under the Giza Plateau, under the causeway of the second pyramid of the Giza Plateau. Are you standing on the box? Oh, he's on the box right now. Yeah. It's about a 30 ton box underwater that he is standing on right now. Yeah, it's slanted downward, so I'm going down it as we speak. Ah. It's settled.